I was just blown away. From the opening scenes of the first film to the closing credits of Mad Max 2, my jaw was on the floor. Somebody would have said to me, you know, in 30 years time, you're gonna be living in the outback of Australia with a museum dedicated to Mad Max 2. It, it, would, it would have sounded ridiculous. Life definitely changed once I left the cinema. Um, all I could think about was Mad Max and who'd made these films, who were the actors, you know, where were they filmed. Everything just seemed to gel together and make it a perfect movie. I think Adrian's the craziest Mad Max fan in the world because he's the only one with a museum. Linda's kind of been on the whole journey as well. We've been together for over 30 years, so she understands the passion. It planted a seed and you could see that seed growing over years. The movie had had such a massive impact on me that we kind of based ourselves on Mad Max scenes and things, you know, and, and, and just everything we did, uh, we used the lines from the films, you know, where it's, you know, it's broken a couple of teeth off the diamond gear, you know, the radiators damaged the car, you know, that kind of thing. Just enjoying the film and collecting bits and pieces probably didn't seem enough. I've never kind of really been fascinated by anything else, really, apart from learning more and hearing interesting stories about Mad Max 2 and just everything that happened. These are actually on loan to us. These are original ones from the film. They come to Broken Hill for one reason only, and that's to meet Adrian and Linda and go to the museum. It's that environment where people can walk in and just feel that they're in the whole Mad Max world. I don't suppose it will ever be finished because Mad Max is such a huge part of uh, people's lives. There's a lot of people that are gobsmacked and I'm one of them because sometimes I still wake up and go, what the hell? It was certainly quite a shock and a real honour to be invited to the premiere of the, of the new film. The morning of the premiere, unbelievable. Some of the most you know, fantastic vehicles there, actors and, and stuntmen from the film. People that had visited the museum and had our T-shirts on was shouting Adrian. We've got Adrian to sign magazines and that. You felt pretty special. To be invited to, a, to any premiere, but certainly to the new Mad Max movie. You know, we've waited 30 years for this. I mean, I keep saying that, that we've kind of gone as far as we can go and, and, and it won't get any better than this. But every time I say that, something else happens. Adrian, good on you. I love the passion. I hope you love the new film and yeah, I hope it lives up to your expectations because obviously you're a big fan. For now, we'll just take it step by step and just see if it all uh, falls into place just as it has done uh, for us in the past. Not many people would have got away with what I've got away with so I'm lucky that it's all fallen into place with the help of Linda. Yeah this was the first place that we um, that we stopped at really when we first arrived in Broken Hill and Silverton and that was really the decider for me. When he dies, that can we scatter his ashes out here or bury him in the interceptor? Yeah. <laughs> and when Max gets his fuel and then sets off, the great thing is the mystery of where the road goes. Yeah. 